For one Minnesota company, Christmas can't come soon enough. Based in Minneapolis, the small company hopes to spread the word about their sustainable trees. In this week's Your Green Life, meteorologist Adam Lorch heads south to see what the sustainable tree is all about. The holidays are still months away, but one company is already gearing up for a busy year. The idea for a unique Christmas tree came a long time ago from Pat Sorensen's father, who was an architect. My mother urged him to come up with a design for a tree. She was tired of the needles falling and the watering and the hauling the tree home. What he came up with turned out to be a work of art and functionality. A real Christmas tree is only used once, but a possibility tree is almost eternal. It lasts a lifetime. Um, it's not a throwaway object. They are allergen free, needle free, and plastic free. What goes into making plastic um, for a plastic Christmas tree, which is maybe the antithesis of environmentally friendly, most of that stuff is made in China. These are all made in the U.S., and the bulk of the wood comes from a company in Maine. But sometimes nature supplies local deadfall trees. A few years ago, we had this incredible cherry wood that came from a cherry tree that was felled in Ottertail County um, in Minnesota by lightning. The felled tree not only had a great story, but supplies beautiful wood for the possibility trees. We have a lifelong quest for getting more and more environmentally responsible. In Minneapolis, meteorologist Adam Lorch, KBJR 6 and Range 11.